Hi all, welcome back to our channel. Today in this video, we will discuss on how to create a new contact in Dream, Contacts module. Contact management is very essential in every business. In order to make the business successful, you should have contacts with people as well as other companies. Managing contact is a difficult task when the number of contact increases. The ancient method of manually handling them or keeping a physical record of contact is not efficient in today's world. With the development of technology, a massive change has happened in business planning. Odoo ERP helps you to organize and run your business smoothly. With its module, you can use your resources in an effective way and storing every piece of data from time to time helps you to have a clear analysis of the work that happens inside the organization. Now let's move on to the module and check how a contact is created in the database step by step. In order to create a new entry, you can click on the create icon. So here in this window, we can provide all the details. Here Odoo gives the option to choose whether the contact we are saving is of an individual or a company. If the contact is a company, then we can add the contact and address related to the company in a separate tab. So you can choose the individual here and you can specify the name of the contact. Then here we can select the company from the drop down menu. So after selecting the company, the address field will be automatically added. Here we can provide the citizen identification details and here we can provide the job position. Here we can provide the contact details like phone, mobile, email, website and here we can choose the title and also can see the option to provide the tax. So it is possible to add multiple tags here. You can add other contact and their addresses in the contact that you are creating. In order to do it, you can press the add option under the contacts and address tab. So a new form will appear and in this form we will have to enter the information such as whether the address is type of contact, invoice address, delivery address, other address or private address. After that here we can provide the contact name, address, email, phone, mobile and also can see the option to provide the internal notes. So we can click on the save icon. So it will be added here. Likewise, we can add as many contact address here. We can add the details uh, regarding the sales and purchase uh, in this tab. Here we can add the details such as name of the salesperson, delivery method, payment terms and price list. And here we can provide the purchase details such as payment terms, payment method, receipt number, supplier currency, and here we can provide the barcode and the loyalty points in the point of sale section. The fiscal position that determines the taxes or accounts used for the contact on company specific values can be added in the fiscal information section. Here you can also add the gross income and the miscellaneous details uh, such as reference, company, website, website tax, industry can be mentioned here. So it is possible to add the SLA policy details here. So the bank account details of the contact can be added in the accounting section. So here we can see that the accounting related settings are managed on the parent company. So by clicking on the parent company here, we will direct to a new window. That means uh, we will direct to the parent company. So here we can save the changes. Next we have is the internal node. So here we can provide the internal details about the contact here. Here in this tab we can provide the partner activation details and the partner review. So here in the partner activation section, you can set the partner level as gold, silver and bronze. And here we can provide the commission plan. So the activation can be choose as fully operational ramp up and the first contact. So we can choose any option from here. And here we can set the level weight. 
in the partner review section we can provide the latest partner review next partner review and also you can set the partnership date you can uh, geolocate the contact by entering the date latitude and the lo uh, longitude and finally here we have the membership tab so the information regarding the membership of the contact such as whether he or she is a free member or not uh, and here we can see the current membership status associate member joining date membership membership fee invoice and membership status can be added under the membership field so you can also get a new membership by clicking on the buy membership option other than all these details you can also add the details of the opportunities uh, that uh, you have with the contact meetings that are scheduled sales information subscription purchases on time rate uh, money invoice vendor bills partner ledger document related uh, related to the contact and uh, direct debit card mandates you can also uh, add the photograph of the contact by clicking on the pictures of the camera after adding all the necessary information we can click on the save icon so the saved details of the contact can be seen in the database so here we can see the contact that we have created now so the contact module in order 15 helps to save all the relevant information about the contact in an organized manner and it helps to track the details of relation with the contact and thus help in planning future project so that's all about the video thank you for watching Thank you.